So if I'm seeing somebody on the street and they ask me about Sudbury education, I tell them that it is self-directed learning, that students have great freedom to pursue whatever interests them. However, what primarily interests most young people is play and relationships and activities that are carried out with their friends and that while there's often a leader in one activity, it switches with the other activity because it's right. dependent on the person who has more skills in that particular activity, whether it be a soccer game or a walk in the woods and you know somebody knows a lot about nature. And it's really fascinating how that happens. Beyond that, the environment, in my perspective, as I said, as a psychotherapist, it's not meant to be in any way, shape, or form a therapeutic school. However, right. I have seen kids be able to get out of therapy very quickly because the environment mm. is so healing and so emotionally safe and psychologically safe for kids that it works, though not meant to be therapeutic, it works therapeutically. Right, and, right. You know, works to give all kids that sense of, of safety and really independence and autonomy that most young people crave that they don't get right. in most other places. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.